Now that you've arrived here, it means that you know how to structure your groups, you know how to plan your investment, you have figured out what you need to save, and you've even executed the investments. Now we go into the monitoring phase. Monitoring is so important for groups because it ensures transparency. So there are four things here to do. The first thing that we have to monitor and have transparency on is the deposits from each member and then the collective group deposits. Two, the investment strategy that we have used to execute the investments. Three, the performance of those investments. And four, the progress towards the group's collective goals. Let's start with the deposits. Traditionally, only the executive knows what each member has contributed. But it is also important for the member to have access to know what is his or her statement and what have they contributed. Is that the correct amount that they have in their private books as well? Two is how have these deposits been invested? What strategy? What was the agreed strategy? And what is the actual strategy that has been implemented? Then three, how have those assets performed over time? Have they performed well? Have they performed poorly? Just knowing that information is really important for each member in order to earn their trust and to encourage them to save even more. Then lastly, the targets that we set as a group at the beginning, how far off are we or how close are we to achieving them? That's really important once you set targets for the group to be achieved within a certain period and everyone has committed to actually putting away those savings. So those are four things. One, the deposits that each member has put away and collectively as a group. Two, how those deposits have been invested, the investment strategy. Three, how each of those assets in the investment strategy has performed. And then four, the progress towards the group's collective goals.